So here we've got a, another Settlers game for you free. It's one of uh, Gus Kevin's new maps. Well, he's, we've been playing it for a while. Um, I went random. Um, so, see who we get. Um, we end up getting set. Fucking hate set. Um, so with this particular map, you can... Let me just turn this down because I can't hear shit. Um, I was going that way and then I realized, actually, um, you know what? No one's going there. Let me try that base for once. So I went there. Because uh, you are you get 800 gold, so you could either do two, C two Cs and two docks, or, well, two TCs, one yeah, temple. Well, you got to do one temple, don't you? Because you can't do two TCs in classical. Um, yeah, and then I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm just going to make a shitload of docks, um, because it's gold, and then you just, then I can just, yeah. Um, Surprised no one went that bottom base, so with this particular game, um, no one went navy, so... Um, like the enemy didn't do navy, uh, which is very new. Um, so one 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 new thing I've been doing is not getting upgrades. So let me just fast forward it, because no one wants to see all that shit. Uh, um, so want to get an ulf? Um, I was going to be like, oh, I need to get an ulf down there to make it to second TC or do um, shift in sands. Um, and then I was like, actually, you know what? Let me just uh, do vision, and I literally just did all my units over there because um, why not you can it's a safe spot down there that top, that bit up top is vulnerable as fuck uh, but it's nice to be able to just shift in sands all your units um, get that second TC up you know you go and fast to well fast heroic within four minutes well just after four minutes uh, then you can start thinking about getting second docks up if you want and then let me just forward forward it again so one thing I struggle with Eggy is I just find it very very slow so I scouted out um, with, by using one uh, arrow ship um, to see what they're doing down there and then I was like oh, okay he's got something uh, let me just do a bit more harassment down there um, as your mom so let me just rewind it a bit so I've got a mid goal stronghold going on I just want to push forward because I do not want my units coming from the tree line down there um, and then I also saw that he had two docks up there, so um, I don't want to be fighting um, those units first. That so, um, getting some docks up—that's uh, the most important thing there. So he's done long boats. Oh, just lost my pharaoh, which is a massive no-no. And then, yep. Yeah, so it's probably time to just put a bit more pressure on him, in terms of fuck off. Um, so then I can start making more docks as well. Um, so I shouldn't actually be caring about this mid goal. I, I, I mean, it is good in case he's randomly decided to attack from there. So I guess it is good. But the main thing here is trying to get that good navy up there. Um, yeah. Um, however, I'm also making navy up there. So I'm fighting on two fronts over there. Um, yeah. Um, if, if I give him an inch in either direction, then that's, you know, would really suck either way. Um, so this one, because it's back, I just want to be using that as a economic upgrade um, time. I uh, decided to go with that one for the King of, uh, what's it called? Um, King Turt or whatever, I can't remember. The, the one that makes it all tr units train faster. Um, I can't believe I've been playing this game since I was a kid and I still don't know the name of it. Um, now I'm thinking, is it time to do a little forward oh shit he's got a load of old farmy so therefore i need to be stop making camery and start making um chariots and then he's making hammock so i need to make some more of those it'd be good if i could kill uh, that bridge and then get another dock up um or i could make some docks around that side uh, but it's a bit too late um yeah uh i've uh, our scores is about matching so that's all good and uh, let me just check my phone into you. Oh, he's outside my house on my ring camera. Um, so he, I did um, Ancestors, he did Freeze, good move. And then I just want to be making sure my economy is even. Um, typically, I always get a lot more food than the rest just because, um, you know, it's not as um, restricted how many, uh, how much food you guys do. So I did actually want to get a, um, I did actually want to get a trade route going on. Um, because with my Egyptian, it's like a lot of food and they're not much wood or gold, even though I always spam out. And I don't want to be selling it, to be honest. I, I hate the fact that I sell so much of my food, uh, but fuck it. Um, and then I look at, I look over at Red. Um, he's not really on the mainland. He's got his army. He's, he's got his navy going on. Um, let me just open another one because that one's warm. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's TV free. Um, 
I've got yellow coming on my ass down there as well in a minute uh, to help out blue. Um, yeah. So yeah, I just want to kill that just because uh, if we do eventually land, then I don't want them to be thinking about that at that time. I want to be doing it in the midst of, midst of things. So I've got a good navy going on there. Oops, someone's outside my house again. Fuck off. And then... Yep, so this is the point where I'm like, okay, yeah, I definitely need uh, docks to win this fight down here. Um, use my upgrades, get my upgrades in places where, um, in from the docks that aren't being used. Uh, but most of my stuff's been done by chariots. So because it's a new map, like usually you wouldn't be able to do this thing. Um, so I'm still I'm still working it out. I could see, I could see it like go positive for like half a second. So I was like, ah, oh. so maybe you can do that. I don't care about killing that one villager if he gets blocked in and uh, trying to make another one. But fuck it. Um, I want to get my upgrades there again. I could have probably got the um, the faster ship build one, but hey ho. Um, yeah, I made the right call trying to get that um, siege upgrade because then they could fire fast uh, further. Um, so now, on the positive here, um, pretty sure he went from my equal there to um, the score all the way down there. I think that's because we killed his base up there, and then yeah. So I want my arrow ships to be killing his units and my siege to be killing those. I am aware that he's got three docks up above. Um, so that's what this other little party over there is from. That's going to be a little surprise attack. I also want to make sure that I'm not making uh, too many. Uh, I see he's got an army over there as well. So he's going to have loads of siege. So I'll make a load of hammer. Uh, but I don't really want to attack them yet. Even though I do because I'm a drunk castle. Um, I want to get a few more of those monuments up. Just because then it allows me to make more mid -goals. Um I want to keep checking that over there just in case because that's what catches you out. If you don't check those basics, those spots over there, then that's when they randomly start going navy and build up a massive navy of hammer ships and then just fuck you up. Um, yeah. So doing alright over here. <coughs> um, I see that Gavskin, uh, Gavs Kevin's only got one um, TC left, so I'm like, fuck it. Uh, let me just try do this quicker before his allies help. Um, and then obviously green comes along and then Abe comes along um, This is the problem. So red is still not on the mainland. So I've got to tell them to come mainland um, So the reason we li we're losing is because it's 2v3. I mean, we're not losing but we end up losing because red makes it 2v3 um, You know new players that's fine, um, you know um, so then I see some of his villages up here. Well, I, no, I send one one scale up there, so I'm like, okay, I need to send those. I need to get my rally point back to normal with those as well. I attacked that way too soon, but I was thinking maybe I can just help out purple a little bit more. Um, I see that he's got um, ox cart up there, so if I just kill that ox cart, and he's he's got zero TC, so if I kill that ox cart, then he's really fucked up. Uh, sorry, the trip caravan. Yeah, it's ox car, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I still haven't even got my full upgrades. I could even get that. Fit. I could easily get that uh, value of kings upgrade. That's it to make my guys train quicker, and then I could um, make a mid goal further up, and then that will give me a massive benefit, a massive bonus. Still trying to kill that um, ox cart. Obviously, having said that, he can uh, ask for resources from his allies, turn those dwarves into elves, and then take back a, a, a back TC. Um, I need to make sure my villagers are always working. Um, he's making loads of elves, so I shouldn't be making uh, as many of those. So those docks are killed, so I should be able to move on to there. Um, I still feel like I'm doing too much. Actually, I'm just against blue at the moment, so that's not too bad. Still trying to get those upgrades in when I can, but for me, I, I do want to get like a, a proper full-on army and stuff because a lot of the time I just get too many upgrades and then um, not enough units. Um, yeah, I always prioritize up upgrades over units, but there's, it's a balance, isn't it? So yeah, he's got catapults up there, so yeah. Um, so I, I push forward a little bit just so everyone's in range, and then I go for the um, so hammer ships versus the siege. Um, and then the siege first, the catapults. Um, yeah. Um, killing. Yeah. Um, so annoyingly, it looks like we are winning uh, on paper. But uh, yeah, and then yellow comes along. I, I really hate China because I never downloaded it. So 
and then I, I still don't really know what the units do, so I always have to right click. So I think red, 20 minutes in, is finally on the mainland. Um, so I'm telling them to come. Um, yeah. Because the game's already decided within the first 10, 15 minutes usually, and this is, you know, coming coming mainland 20 minutes in when we've already won Navy years ago. Like, the fact they didn't even really do Navy, it's, you know, I don't know if, what a waste of, how much, how much wood and gold is that, I don't even know. Um, but again, it's one of these things where you keep signaling just to help your allies, but then if you do it too much, then you just sound like an arsehole, and it's like, well... I'm actually just doing it to help. Um, but, you know, then obviously that... Oh, and that was a big fail, not getting that wood upgrade. Um, I still need to get all those upgrades, so I'm just going to fast forward it a little bit more. And then I decide, actually, well... Um, oh, that's a bad rally point there. Oh, that's a really bad rally point. Okay. Uh, then I decide maybe my barracks units would uh, do a bit more help. So I'm against two at the moment. I was fighting green as well down that way. And I'm also fighting green on navy down there. So I'm constantly scouting around the map, seeing how my allies can improve. And then I decide, actually, you know what? I can do... Um, I can really um, help myself here because my main eco is here. This is where my gold is presently. So if I do stumps, like I learned in uh, facing titans in Jotunheim, then as in like titan difficulties that's what you used to do in jotun you used to just do loads of stumps and then um towers behind that can do a lot of damage and then obviously they start making catapults so that's why i start making um catapults myself and also i i, I cut down those trees deliberately so i can make navy down here um however they would have the um advantage of being able to make four docks that in on that bit whereas i can only make two so it's like fuck it don't even know what i'm doing anymore um yeah, I'm still surprised they haven't attacked this yet. Because um, Gus Kevin and Shepard, I always thought were um, good Navy guys. And they decided to go land. I don't know why. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so still making those walls and stuff. And then um, I decided to try and make a medical. Um, just spam out a bunch of elephants or some shit like that. And then can do it. Um, and then he made a really good... Um, uh, then he did a really good forest fire, which I should have seen he had, and that was really good. Um, yeah. So I didn't realise that he could go up here, but he ends up going like that, and it's out for fuck's sake. So I just, like, it's nice when you just hear all these dead, you know, people dying, basically. But what's this? Like, he ends up being able to go that way? What the fuck? Oh, I can't actually scroll around, can I? And then I'm trying to do that, so it's like, oh yeah, crazy. Um, yeah. And then I'm trying to zoom in just to do that. And he's got no siege up there, and it's like, well... Actually, he's got a, he's got a few destroyers, so that's alright, but... Yeah, he, he does need, like, on onagers and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I don't know, I took that down. I guess, I guess they were building, and then... It, Lots of my guys were, or towers were attacking it while it was building a site, and then, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a really tough game. Oh, I'm just going to fast forward it again. Yeah, he called it GG. Um, yeah. How many kills did I get? That's what I want to know. Oh yeah, and then I killed my docks on the main base to let Red come because he asked for food, and it was like, dude, we've we've got the water. How are you asking for food? And then he had like 10, 10 fish and chips. But yeah, um, okay, so eight seventeen and seven three eight. So I was against like two or three players at any one time. So um, yeah, it's a tricky one. <laughs> 